Hi everyone, Code Queen Ayeli. This is a different type of Corvid video, Wix Site Search. It is a brand new feature that was just released a few weeks ago to the Wix public. And I've been receiving the same question over and over. So this video is to answer, does the Wix Site Search work with Corvid and the databases? I'm not gonna make you wait until the end of the video like other people do. I will let you know right from the beginning. It does not, unfortunately, it does not work with Corvid or any of the databases. It does not work with dynamic content or dynamic pages at the moment. Who knows? Maybe in the future Wix will release that function. But like any new feature, it starts out by being released to a few people, then a few products, and then eventually it scales and grows from there. So for now, I'm going to show you all the ways that you can use the Wix site search. Let's look at an article that Wix wrote. Now this article is a tiny bit outdated. There are some things that it says it cannot do, but it can, <laughs> and I will show you what those things are. So let me share my screen with you now. About the Wix site search, it's very easy to add. You open up your editor, you look under the more column, and then you start adding it. You design it just like you would any other element. If you scroll all the way to the very bottom, you will see that there are some limitations. It's saying that it does function on static pages, Wix stores products, the Wix forum, and the Wix blog. I don't want you to be misled in any way, so I will show you what can and cannot be done on these specific products. Also, it says that the Wix site search does not work on Wix bookings, Wix events, dynamic pages, content, and so on. This is actually also a tiny bit misleading because it does in fact work with Wix bookings. Let me open up a tutorial site that I created just for you so you can explore, play around, and test what you can and cannot do with the site search. You can visit codequeen.wixsite.com slash wix dash search dash bar. At the very top, you're going to see the search bar. Next to that, you're going to see a few search words. The word pizza, surf, spa, grease, eat, and relax. Let's begin by searching something on the search bar and see what the results page looks like. I'm going to type in the word pizza. There is no search button for you to click enter, so you have to click enter on your keyboard. Once you hit that enter on the keyboard, you will be redirected to a results page. This page can be designed however you like. What you cannot design is this box. These stay the same, these are dynamic, and then the results. You can modify a few things, but again, it is limited. If you notice on the URL, it'll have the letter Q-Pizza. This word is a search word. If I change that to spa and I hit enter again, the search function performs. Now let's go back to pizza. If you notice, it says one result was found for pizza. It's actually listed under my services section. So once I click on the word pizza, I will be redirected to my Wix bookings area. This is what it looks like. Now the reason we got this result for the Wix bookings is because it actually picked up the title of the Wix bookings not the description. Let me show you something else. Let's go to the forum. On my forum, I have different categories. Pools and water, movies and outdoors, tacos and food. If I were to click on tacos and food category, I will see that there is one post called tacos and food. Let me go back. There's pools and water category. I'm going to search for both tacos and water to see what happens. There was two results found. Tacos was found inside of my products for Wix stores, and tacos was found under one forum post. This is the actual post. This is not the category. My water category did not come out in this forum result. Now let's go back. Here's the results on the products page, cupcakes and tacos. If I click that, you can obviously see that the title is cupcakes and tacos, and that is why it found it. Now let's say search for the word detail, it pulls up all of the products because every single one has the same description. I'm a product detail. In Wix stores, it will pull up the title of the product and any text information that you add here. Now let's look at the Wix events. So under Wix events, I have one called 
Cakewalk online, holiday trees, and pool party. Let's search for pool. Pool party. No results found. Now let's try testing the private members pages or any hidden pages on the site. So this is a private area. The password to test this page is 123test. These are the words that are located on this page. Now remember, this is supposed to be non-searchable. We should not be able to find anything on here. So let's search for planets. No results found. That means that area is protected and is secure. Let's look for Twitter. Now notice that the word Twitter produced zero results. Yet, there is clearly a word that says Twitter down at the very bottom. But where is this word located? If we go inside of the editor, you'll notice that I have regular text in the footer area, and that is where the word Twitter is located. But let's go ahead and add this word somewhere on the top. Twitter testing search. Let's hit publish. Now that that has been published, I'm going to go back and I'm going to hit refresh. Now it picks up the word Twitter and it's telling me that it's located on the home page. So it does not search in the header area or the footer area of your website. Now let's search under the blog. Clearly in the first post, the title has the word surf. There are other posts that have the word Greece, that have the word blog, that have the word space. So we're going to look for those too. So let's look for surf blog space. Under blog post, nine results show up. What is very interesting is that under products, it displays zero matching results, yet it's showing a few products right here. Very interesting, right? Now let's look at the menu that I have up at the top. Right here, I have the word Code Queen and the word Totally Codable. Let's see if Code Queen is found. It is found on two products. It's called Code Queen Shoes and Code Queen Glasses, but it did not find the Code Queen listed on the menu. So why did it find the blog? The blog is an app and the search function is made to work with that specific app, but it was not meant to read the other words on the menu bar. So those are just links. They're actually not pages. If I had added them as pages, then it would have found it. For example, I have the page called members. Let's for search for the word members. It finds one page result called members. It also looked under services and found zero results, but it is displaying three services here. While this Wix search bar is super exciting to have, it's a little confusing to use because the documentation is not up to date and it's not very clear as to what areas or sections or content of the static pages is and is not searchable. So hopefully this answers a few of your questions and I can only assume it gave you even more questions to ask. So feel free to contact Wix support so they can answer all those questions or you can always book a private session with me. I'm Coco Nayeli and even though this was totally not codable, I hope you still learned something new today. I'll see you soon. Bye.